I'm Leighton, today is the 11th of November 2016, and the Nintendo Classic was released yesterday, and I have a copy of it. Oh, sorry about that. I have a copy of it right here. So, this is what it looks like. Basically, it's the Nintendo from back in the day, from the late 80s, early 90s, um, with 30 games preloaded onto it. Um, and it's totally miniaturised and it is high definition for the new generation. So let's unbox it and see what comes with it. The owner's manual, all that crap, probably never read that. Ah, here's the controller. So here's our classic uh, rectangular NES controller which looks pretty primitive now, but back in the day this was a serious improvement on anything that anyone else had. Um, it has a miniaturised connector, uh, so that's obviously a lot smaller than the original one, but it's uh, still pretty chunky. It's got some clips on it as well to hold it in place, presumably. The cable, as you can see, is very short. That is going to prove to be a problem, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, let's open this. This is the actual device. This is really small. I mean, look at that. That is, that is just absolutely tiny. So, it looks like the classic Nintendo where you used to open the little flappy lid there and pop the game in. This is a sealed unit. There is no expandability, there's no expansion uh, capability with this whatsoever. So, um, it's kind of just for show. So, the connectors on the back we have a standard HDMI out port uh, which is pretty standard HDMI cables can come in all different shapes and sizes but the main one that most people use is this size and this is a USB power charger so that's that's the USB that you'd use to charge your phone basically um, US, USB power so on the front we have two clicky little power buttons uh, power and reset just like back in the day um, that reset button doesn't go in. Did it used to go in on the original one? Well, anyway, it, you can click it, but it doesn't go in. Power one, clicks on, clicks off. We connect the um, controller into port one there. And that clicks in, and then that that is locked. So you have some sort of pressy clips on the side here to detach that. I can't get over how small it is. It's, I mean, look at it. It's, it's only slightly bigger than the controller. That's really miniature. There's 30 games on there, and then presumably the whole operating system and all that. Inside the box, now this is where it's slightly disappointing. Well, for me anyway. For other people, it won't be a problem. So here's our USB power cable, but that literally is just USB, typical USB on one end, and then your little micro USB for um, plugging into things like telephones and this on the other. So you have to have a device with a USB output. There's no charger, there's no wall charger to charge from your house's electricity or from your desk or whatever. Presumably, that is so that Nintendo can ship these things anywhere in the world and they'll just work. They don't have to worry about including a uh, mains adapter. So this cable, I don't know how long this is, but it's not especially long. Um, but, you know, USB chargers and USB cables are absolutely everywhere nowadays. And I'll show you in a minute how they're absolutely everywhere in my house, so I don't need to worry. Oh, that's longer than the average one. That's, what's that, a metre? That's not bad. Most are only 50 or 60 centimetres. The sort of real problem that we've got here is this HDMI cable. Uh, so here's your HDMI cable. You plug into the back of there, and you plug that into the back of your TV or your monitor, maybe. Um... And this is kind of the thing with, with this device. I'm getting the feeling, now I've actually unboxed it, that it's not for people to play in their homes. Maybe maybe in the bedroom, like if you're a kid or something, or in a man cave, if you've uh, got some kind of man cave. But I think it's more for office, because there's a short little HDMI cable, and a power cable that's just USB, and then a tiny little controller. I mean, I'm in this room, I'm about nine feet away from my TV. And it's just not going to stretch. So, what I've done is I've actually connected, I've actually just gone out to Argos and bought a 5 metre HDMI cable, which is connected directly to my TV at the moment. I'll pop that in in a minute. 
and in this house, uh, because USB power is pretty much currency here, I've got um, a USB cable coming out of my sofa, or my couch, and threaded directly into the wall, and it just passes straight through the couch so that I can charge my phone up and stuff normally on any given day. So let's connect the Nintendo into that power socket and then connect the HDMI cable which is connected to the TV into the back of there. And I've got the little red light like back in the day. And can you hear that? Wow. So there they all are. Donkey Kong, Double Dragon, Dr. Mario, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Kid Eric. Oh, Ice Climber, I used to have that. Wicked. Super Mario Brothers, there we go. This is the one that everyone wants. Start, there we go. Dee 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 dee! So that's the Nintendo Classic Mini. Let me know what you think about it in the comments and hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.